both cornerbacks, Stephon Gilmore and Trayvon Diggs, both have acrobat and pick artists. So they're going to be a nightmare to play against with those cornerbacks. But let's just focus on Jalen Hurts here. He's going to be a nightmare. If he has all these abilities now, there's no weakness to his team. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing the Mad Cheese as always. Got another Madden 24 preview video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over an article published by Madden School, which is pretty much a, um, you know, it's something that's been around for a long time. They're usually on point with the stuff that they put out. And they went out and put out a full list of of all of the superstar and X Factor players that are going to be in Madden 24. Now I don't know how they got this list. I waited. I've had this list for a couple of days, but I was waiting uh, for EA to put out something more official, which I'm sure they will put out at some point. So I'm not 100% sure if this is 100% accurate, but I do know that if you played the beta, you could go through each team and pretty much see what the majority of the X Factors and uh, you know a lot of their um, superstar abilities were. So I'm guessing that's what they did. I didn't actually do that, but I can confirm quite a few of these because I did play the beta and I did see a lot of these players did have these. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, I, at some of these I question and I will question them throughout the video. Uh, but if you guys want to see me do more Man 24 videos <laughs> like this, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, it's going to get right into the video. We're going to start off in alphabetical order. The Arizona Cardinals only have one player in Buda Baker. And if he gets traded before the season starts, they'll probably have no players similar to the Houston Texans. The Texans have no players. They're the only team that have no players with superstars or X Factors. Moving on to the Falcons. The Falcons have, the Falcons are a really nice looking team with the exception of their quarterback situation. Desmond Ritter gets some, some point boost throughout the year they're gonna be a really fun team to use because they have one x factor in kyle pitts which i don't necessarily agree with because i said in the previous video about the ratings that he had a horrible year last year he only had like 300 yards or like 30 catches it was not a good year so it, i don't understand how he still has all these abilities and x factors but either way um they have three players that have superstar abilities in Kalias campbell aj terrell and jesse bates uh which is to me you know that's the, i mean they have a really sneaky solid squad the ravens have seven there's like four teams that have seven or more uh and the ravens are one of them i just called out the ravens they're going to be one of the best teams to use between lamar jackson which we all know is a cheat code in madden he's an absolute nightmare to play against mark andrews is a nightmare tight end to play against he has x factors and all that stuff like he did last year roquan smith also as well and then they have four players uh, I'm sorry, three players. Maybe I, maybe, I, maybe I did that wrong. They only have six. I thought they had seven. But either way, they have three players that have superstar abilities, which is Ronnie Staley, Marlon Humphrey, and Justin Tucker. Buffalo Bills next. Josh Allen, cover athlete. You know he's got an X-Factor. Bazooka. He already has the strongest arm in the game. I think it's a 99 throw power. But he also gets an X-Factor to make that ball go even further. So I'm guessing with that lit up, you can probably throw the ball 100 yards. More X-Factor players. They have three more. And Stefan Diggs, Bon Miller, and Tredavious White, giving them a total of four total X-Factor players, and they also have two superstars in both their safeties, in Mika Hyde and Jordan Poyer. So very, um, you know, very good looking uh, team there, obviously. Going to the Panthers, we have just two superstars in Ekum Equanu. I'm not sure if I said the name right, but he was a first round pick, I think like two years ago. He's got nasty streak now. Brian Burns, I think that's new by the way. Brian Burns has uh, a couple of, uh, you know, his speedster and strip specialist. The next player on the list is DJ Moore, who was with the Panthers, but he's now with the Bears thanks to a draft day trade or a uh, trade around the draft. And that wasn't necessarily done on draft day, but the Cincinnati Bengals are a team that you would think would be loaded uh, with, um, you know, X Factors or at least superstars, but they only have three. Joe Burrow, run and gun, which I'm not even sure that really fits his profile necessarily but um yeah he's you know to me joe burrow he's still gonna be one of the best quarterbacks in the game it doesn't really matter but him jamar chase and uh, t higgins has a superstar that's it you have you have uh, jamar chase obviously has x factor as well and double me but you know that to me three from one of the best teams in the game doesn't make a lot of sense they should probably have a few more Moving on, the next team in the same division, the Cleveland Browns, has more X-Factors and more superstar players than the uh, Cincinnati Bengals. They have Nick Chubb, Wrecking Ball, and Miles Garrett, Unstoppable Force as far as the X-Factors. Then when you get the superstar players, they have Amari Cooper, Wyatt Teller, uh, and Zedaria Smith. So they have more than the best team in that division which is clearly the Bengals. Maybe the best team in the conference. They might go, you know, they might win the Super Bowl this year and it wouldn't surprise anybody and they have only 3 uh total, which is really weird to me. The Cowboys have 7, but typically the Cowboys like I always say they kind of get overrated. I'm not going to argue with any of these necessarily though. They only have one X factor, which is Mika Parsons. Uh and then after that, you got Dak Prescott, 
as a superstar, CD Lamb, uh, Zach Martin. I'm guessing linemen don't get X factors because he's a nine on overall lineman, but he doesn't get anything. Teron Smith, I will argue, like I said in a previous video, he did not have a good year last year. His PFF rating was like a 60 something. So he's not that guy anymore. He's just old and, and I think he's pretty washed up. You're both cornerbacks, Stephon Gilmore and Trayvon Diggs, both have acrobat and pick artists. So they're going to be a nightmare to play against with those cornerbacks. I mean, the Cowboys, they're going to be one of the best teams in the league and they're going to be one of the best teams in the game to use, especially with stuff like that. Moving on to the Denver Broncos, we have um, you know only two players on there, which is Patrick Sertan and Justin Simmons. I think Justin Simmons could be an X Factor too. He led the league in picks last year, at least had a share in that. Moving on to the the Lions, they had none last year before Amon St. Ra, Ra St. Brown got his uh, superstar abilities added, and they also added Panay Sewell this year. Moving on to the Packers, one X Factor in Jair Alexander, the second highest rated cornerback in the game. Uh, and then they have a couple more when it comes to the superstars, four more in Aaron Jones, David Bakhtiari, Kenny Clark, and Rashawn Gary. Uh, Texans, like I said, they have none. Colts only have three uh, in uh, DeForest Buckner, who has a, an X Factor, and then Jonathan Taylor and uh, Quentin Nelson as superstars. Next up, we got the Jaguars, no X Factors, but Trevor Lawrence has Gunslinger, which I'm not sure if he had last year. So if that's an, if that's an addition, that's going to be an improvement. And uh, Brandon Schrafe, who has um, you know some blocking uh, superstar abilities. The, the, the Chiefs don't have any superstar players, but they have three X Factors in the big three in Mahomes, Kelsey, and Chris Jones. I mean, the Raiders in the same division, who probably won't have anywhere near as good of a year, have the same amount of X-Factors. They have three X-Factors, but they also have some superstars. Josh Jacobs, Devontae Adams, and Max Crosby are X-Factors, while Chandler Jones is a superstar. So they have more X-Factors and superstars than the defending Super Bowl champions, and I'm sure they won't have anywhere near as good of a year. Uh, another team that's really overpowered from the looks of it is the Los Angeles Chargers. They have four X-Factor players in Austin Eckler, uh, Keenan Allen, Joey Bosa, and Derwin James. And then they also have three uh, superstar players, which gives them seven, which ties them with the Cowboys as the most in the game so far that I've gone over anyway, uh, with Justin Herbert, Mike Williams, and Khalil Mack. And, I mean, high point dead eye for Justin Herbert's probably going to be important for a lot of people's sideline dead eye too uh, is really nice. So that guy is going to be one of the better quarterbacks in the game to use, even though he doesn't have an X-Factor. Moving on to the Rams, Cooper Cup and Aaron Donald. That's it. Two X-Factor guys, nothing else. Their roster is pretty barren after that. The Dolphins have Tyree Kill and Jalen Ramsey with X-Factors. Uh, bottleneck for Jalen Ramsey. I think he's the only player in the game that has that. And Tyreek Hill with Jukebox is definitely going to be one of the best receivers in the game again. You also have Jalen Waddle and Toronto Armstead as superstars. Moving on to the Vikings. They have uh, only three, but I think they could have a couple more. They have Justin Jefferson and X-Factor. Uh, superstars Daniel Hunter and Harrison Smith. But you could add, you know their tight end or their quarterback and Kirk Cousins, they all are in the range where I wouldn't be mad if they had a superstar ability of some kind. So that's a little bit of an oversight there for me. New England Patriots has one in Matthew Judon, and uh, he's not even an X-Factor. But the guy had like 16, almost 16 sacks last year, and he just he just doesn't seem to get the respect he deserves. He at least got a ratings boost, though. Uh, the Saints are next. DeMar Davis is the only X-Factor. I think Kamara used to have something like that, but he's a superstar now. Cameron Jordan, also a superstar, and uh, Marshawn Lattimore, also a superstar. So four total players, not bad. The Giants only have two, although, I mean, Darren Waller, I'm pretty sure – had something in the past but he doesn't have it anymore so all they have is saquon barkley uh, who looks like a beast regardless and on defense dexter lawrence who has an x factor as well in blitz uh moving on to the jets and rogers obviously um you know a good addition but he's not an x factor they only have superstars they have aaron Rodgers, mika beckton quinnon williams and sauce gardner quinnon williams and sauce gardner in my opinion could easily have x factors and Aaron Rodgers could too. So that's a little bit uh, underselling him. Now, moving on to the Eagles, we're going to have to stop the whole show here because if these are accurate, the Eagles are going to be OP overpowered. Like, they have, first of all, they have nine total X Factor players and superstars, some of which I don't necessarily agree with, but let's just focus on Jalen Hurts here. Run and gun, which means that when he's throwing on the run, he has perfect accuracy. That's going to be huge if, the, if he has an X Factor this year, which it looks like he does. Then you have Jukebox, which for running quarterbacks is, 
you know, I mean, you got to put your ball carrier conservative, but he's going to be a nightmare. Fast break obviously helps with that too. And then they said he has gunslinger this year, which I'm totally surprised by. If he has gunslinger, that was always one of the issues with the Eagles is their quarterback, even when Jalen Hurts was going up in rating, it was kind of hard to use with Jalen Hurts. If he has all these abilities now, he's, he's there's no there's no weakness to this, to this team. So that, that has me excited. I'm hoping it's true. Like I said, I use the Eagles a lot, but I didn't really notice. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't, I've been using them for, for so long since last year. I didn't really notice if he had gunslinger or not. So I really don't know if that's true. I do know that AJ Brown did have max security. So a lot of these, like I said, I know a lot of these are accurate. Uh, it also says he has run off elite, which is going to be huge because he, that's going to make him an even better deep threat, uh, which they already have in Quez Watkins. Now to have that on the other side with AJ Brown. I mean, that's awesome. Uh, so then you have Darius Slay also as an X factor uh, and shut down. Uh, superstar players have a lot. Dallas Goddard has one now, which I don't think he had last year. Jason Kelsey, Lane Johnson, Hassan Reddick, Fletcher Cox, who's kind of still holding on to his. And Jordan Davis, who was their first round pick last year, and didn't even really play a full year. He got injured. He was kind of sparingly used after his injury. They gave him inside stuff, which makes sense because he's known to be an amazing run defender coming out of college. That's kind of what he's known for. But I don't think he did enough last year to really deserve that. Moving on to the Pittsburgh Steelers. TJ Watt, X Factor, Cam Hayward, X Factor, and then they also have Najee Harris and Deontay Johnson. And Minka Fitzpatrick, all with superstar abilities. Although I think Minka Fitzpatrick at some point could get a X Factor as well. Moving on to the Niners is another team that has quite a few. They have, I think, four or five. How many got here? One, two, three, four, five X Factors. Uh, and only one uh, superstar in Trent Williams, who I, I don't think Lyman even have X Factors, or else you could probably give them all one. But Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel, George Kittle, Nick Bosa, Fred Warner, and Trent Williams is your superstar. So very good list there. Uh, the Seattle Seahawks only have one, which to me is kind of ridiculous, bringing back Bobby Wagner. They still have Jamal Adams. They still have um, their other safety, too, which is, evades me, who's been to three straight Pro Bowls. Uh, you know, they have so many good players that none of them have superstar abilities. It doesn't make sense. Uh, Tariq Woolen last year had six interceptions as a rookie. He doesn't have it. He didn't earn any, any uh, you know, superstar abilities. I just said how... You know, the Eagles defensive tackle, Jordan Davis, barely played. Uh, then you go to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who are a lot of people are sleeping on. They have two X-Factor players in Mike Evans and Levante David. And then they also have five superstar players, giving them a total of seven. So they have, they're tied for the second most amount in the league. And I think I don't even think people are going to be using this team. So Chris Godwin, Tristan Wirfs, Ryan Jensen, Shaquille Barrett, and Vita Veo all have superstars, giving them seven, like I said. So that's going to be a tough team. The Titans are next. They have, uh, you know, Derrick Henry obviously is an X factor. After that, they have Jeffrey Simmons and Kevin Byard as superstar players. I definitely agree with that. And they probably have DeAndre Hopkins. I don't know, maybe because I know that the, um, I'm sure DeAndre Hopkins will have some stuff too. I'm not sure what he'll be, but you got to add him in there. So that gives them a total of four. Then you get to the Commanders, who's the last team. And they have Terry McLaurin and Jonathan Allen with X Factors and Chase Young with a superstar. Uh, another missing guy there is uh, probably Jerron Payne. Should probably have a superstar ability. I mean, the guy had like what, like eleven, like uh, ten and eleven sacks last year, and he's a really good player. He was in the Pro Bowl last year, so I mean, Chase Young hasn't done anything in a long time. And you can make arguments for Montez Sweat to have some stuff. So there's definitely some guys missing. But that doesn't necessarily mean that this list is inaccurate. That just means that EA doesn't always seem to know what they're doing. They just kind of overlook a lot of players, which, you know, both could be true. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section about this list. If you think it's accurate, if you think, uh, you know, if there's things you disagree with. Uh, and now, like I said, I'll continue to do these videos if you want me to do them. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.